key, keep it softly spoken, with no strings tying you to me. I'm happy. Hello, IT. We're finally back with another educational vlog. Today, I got my little buddy, Belgo. My buddy is going to help me all about the sun. This sun is really big, so we will might need a bit of help. So, how big is the sun? So what will be your your blog for today? The sun! It's about the sun, okay. The sun. My bell goes correct. <laughs> Anyways, how big is the sun? This sun can be the biggest item in the solar system because we need sunlight obviously because we need to see everywhere especially because we have morning in our planet and the sun is and the sun is not the smallest because it is the biggest because like like for example if the sun is small like for example if the sun is smaller than the earth like not even half of our countries is not going to even have sunlight. Like, because of the moon, it's 50 times smaller than the sun. Okay. Now we have, how much does the sun have and how much does the sun weigh? Now, the sun has 70.2% hydrogen and 24% helium or it can be what are you going to say 91 percent hydrogen and eight percent helium great job buddy you really good you really did great you surely did a good job for yt isn't it thank you for pressing that like button <laughs> because he's doing really good and then how hot could the sun even be? As I said, it's the um, the most biggest thing in the solar system. And, don't forget, it is the hottest thing in our solar system. Hottest in the solar system. Okay. He's really smart. <laughs> but I was the one who said it. Anyways, even though Venus is the hottest country, it... Um, not the hottest country, the hottest planet. Although the sun, because it will have all the brightness, and then the sun is really hot. Like, if you go in it, you'll, like, burn into fire. Because, like, in Venus, it's, like, five, four times hotter than boiling water. But oh, the sun will be, like, ten oh, million times hot. more than boiling water. Because the sun... Because now that... Now that proves... The sun is the most hottest thing in our solar system, right? Mm. Our friends will be learning with me, my mom, my dad, and you, Bear, for all of my lovely, sun-terresting facts. Welcome to the introducement of sun-terresting facts. Here is number one. One million Earths can fit in... The sun! So that's really big. That's why I said the sun is the most biggest part of the solar system. Number two, the sun can consume the earth. <gasps> oh. It's not it's not really a joke, but I at least saw it in Google. At least I have been participating. The closest planet to the sun is I think you should already know. Mercury. Mercury, the smallest planet, the closest planet to the sun, and it has great. Uh, I'm not really knowing what is great, but I have just found it on Google and I to see actually gives to see what it is. Number three, the sun is a blazing fire like the color orange. Mm. Yeah, the sun. That's why I said. This sun is super hot, like you would go to Sahara Desert and burn. Like, the sun should be way more hotter than a desert, because the sun is more closer to the sun, not a desert, because the desert is an earth. And then probably the closest 
desert to um sun would probably be mercury but i don't think there would be any deserts in mercury anyway mm. okay now we have what is what is the sun made of in my sun interesting facts the answer was a blazing fire blazing fire like a fire like you go to a fire camp and then like you see fire but it's not a fire anyways the sun is a star and then another interesting fact my bear would say the sun is the most biggest out of all of the things in the solar system so the sun is the biggest among the solar system great job for learning in our activities our mum and dad need to practice a bit more <laughs> because they study in school and i hope you learned about space in school like i'm not really hoping but maybe you have at least so now does the sun have rings well the sun is not a planet so it could be not anyways if the sun will have a ring, the ring will be large, a hundred million times bigger than a phone. Because phones are really small compared to the yeah. sun's ring, but the sun does not have a ring unless I'm like pretending or unless there actually was a ring of the sun. Has everyone well went to the sun? It's pretty obvious. No. No one. No one. You won't obviously die there, not so. die die there, but probably you will burn. burn. Yeah. Because the sun is super it's duper hot. hot. The sun is super duper big. And then if you're like in the middle, like you 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 don't know where to go and you don't know where's the end of the sun. And then if you get out of the sun, you won't see the planets where you live in. For example, the sun is here and then you get out of here and the planets are here. And then you will be like, oh, where's my planet supposed to be? Like, for example, you should not travel to the sun. I don't think anyway, because you're not going to be. No one ever traveled to the sun anyway. <laughs> Yeah, because there's not any land on the sun, not solid. And sun is a gas, a blazing fire gas. The, the sun, well, the stars, at least one of the stars can be at least a hundred times bigger than the sun. The star? Which this star <laughs> is called Rydal in my encyclopedia book. It's look like a small. And then uh, my teddy time. bear says and has a question. Why, when you said in your star video, you said the hottest colour was blue, but then the star was yellow and the sun was yellow. Then how possibly, how possibly could the sun be the most hottest in the universe? Well, we could all say the sun is a star. This is why we love to learn about space, because we never went to space before, but at least we want to learn about it. We never went to space before, but at least the sun cannot also be included as a star because it's not the same shape but shape. although the sun is also called a star and the and the yellow are and white are the one of the middle colors of the most hottest and the most coldest now also just make sure to put your comments down below if you have if you saw any red stars, orange stars, blue stars. Because I never saw them before and we really like to know. Because it would be really interesting. Just to say, have you seen one before? I don't think so. Have you seen one before? Yeah, because probably it would be night time and then you would be already sleeping. <laughs> Does the sun appear in the evening? Well, since the moon will overtake the sun, 
where it would be a no, unless in another country. As I said, in the UK, when it's nine o'clock in the evening, yeah, the sense. moon will come to us. And then in Canada, it's three o'clock in the afternoon, or the morning, the afternoon, and the sun will still be shining. That's why the moon, the moon rounds, the moon goes round and round. <laughs> Anyways, why is the, how and why is the sun is the hot? Why and how is the sun the hottest thing, the hottest part of the solar system? You can see. The sun yeah. is a lot more bigger, although it it might be cold, such as Uranus and Neptune, since they're such as Uranus and Neptune, since they're really far away from the sun. Also, you, just to say, Uranus was um, recorded as a really cold country, since it's far away from the sun. Now, about that, the sun is all about God because the God created the sun and God created us. So that's why we are here to teach you all about space. Not any of us made the sun, God made the sun because he is never afraid of anything. It's impossible f for him to get afraid of anything. He's not scared of a monster because he created them. When was the sun created? The sun was created when it was daytime. He said he will make the thing called light, and then in the night time it will be called dark. Like right now, it's light in our bedroom, so it will kind of symbolise that the sun is here, but it's actually not just because of the light. Yeah. Does this sun actually a fire? Well, yes, and a couple of no. Well, it was, yes, because you can burn from the sun. It is made from a blazing fire gas. So mm. you better be careful. You don't want to burn or travel to the sun because it can be dangerous. But at least you can see the sun because you need sunlight and you need to see. Although, if you don't, you might need to use a torch or something. <laughs> Just and before we move, yeah, what were you going to say? And everyone needs the sun, isn't it? Yes. Because if without the sun, we are all deficient with vitamin D. Unless you have electricity in your house. No, regardless, least. the sun is the source of vitamin D. Yeah, I, unless I learned a no lesson sun. about vitamins. <laughs> 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 Even if it's all about space. Anyways, thank you for sharing all the facts, especially with my cuddly Belgo bear. He's from Belgium.